In this video, I show you guys how to actually get Mystery Dust in Hypixel. Now, Mystery Dust is the one and only way to unlock all of the cosmetics that you want in Hypixel. Now, Mystery Dust can obtain you basically all the cosmetics that are in the game, which are not affiliated with any one specific minigame, but around the whole of Hypixel. So as you can see, if I go to the collectibles tab, and I go to something like suits, and I can click on one that I do not fully have, like the warrior suits, and as you can see, I can use mystery dust to craft the missing part of it. Now some you actually can't, because some you need like specific mystery boxes, like the summer, winter, all the different themes of mystery boxes that may be needed instead of just mystery dust. But then again, Mystery Dust is used for most of the cosmetics within here, as well as morphs and all this other stuff. As you can see, some can't be crafted with dust, but most actually can. So, uh, how do you actually get this Mystery Dust? Well, there are a couple of ways to do so. Now, the first way is by unlocking chests. Now, by opening these Mystery Boxes, you have a chance to actually get Mystery Dust, now when you actually open a chest and get something that you already have, you will get a duplicate item, which basically just replaces it for mystery dust. As you can see, at that time I got a new one and I didn't get any mystery dust, but if I open this one, I will get the same one and have some mystery dust go alongside of it. As you can see, I got three mystery dust from that. Now it will obviously depend on if you got like a legendary, a legendary would obviously be more than a common one, and so on and so forth, making it more valuable if you actually get something that's higher that is a duplicate. So the first thing is you can actually open these crates. Now to get these crates there are a few ways of doing it. First of all the delivery man will come around every month and actually give you these delivery boxes. Now as you can see I just collected mine and the next one will be in 24 days from now. So I will actually have to wait until 24 days to get these mystery boxes, but there will be a lot of them. Depending if you have MVP Plus, you can get all of these, and then going down the ranks, you can get less and less mystery boxes. And to open all the mystery boxes, like the higher level ones, like level 5 stars and that type of stuff, you're going to need a better rank to open them. And that is basically how you get mystery crates. There is another thing, sometimes there will be events in here, like a summer event, a winter event, basically any type of event, there may be mystery boxes for you to gain out here on the sides as well. Now, another way to actually get mystery boxes is by buying them in the Hypixel store. Now, this is not the most common one to actually be doing, and it obviously requires a real money to get them on the store, but as you can see, you can go to this basic store that is within Minecraft, and then you can buy it for real life money, which is basically just gold, and you can get gold from your wallet from the Hypixel store. But as you can see, you can go in here, click on mystery boxes, and then you can buy them for gold. And as you can see, some will guarantee some boxes, some will actually not, but as you can see, it is pretty cool. But as you can see, this is a way of doing it. Now, if I were to actually just go onto the website, as you can see, you can actually get mystery boxes right over here. And you can also see the prices down below. So for this one, it'd be 10 mystery boxes for $6, 20 for 12 and 50 for 29 Now, I'd actually not recommend doing this way since it's basically just paying for mystery boxes and it won't really guarantee you getting a lot of Hypixel dust, but obviously do it if you really need it or really just want it. But obviously I would not recommend this way of doing it, but it is one of the many ways of doing so. And the second slash last way of doing it is actually by going within the delivery man once again and doing this daily reward. Now this daily reward will sometimes present you with mystery dust as an option. So if I were to click the link right over here, I will actually get the link and I click to claim. Now I clicked on yes and it bring me to the site. You might have to listen to an ad unless you actually have a rank in which you can actually skip with a rank. But as you can see, it will open up this chest and present me with three options. If I hover over the cards with my mouse, I can actually see the three options. Now as you can see, this time I've gotten 20 mystery dust from this one thing. 
Now you can only choose one of these, and if you keep on going for 9 consecutive days, you get a reward token. Which is pretty cool, but obviously you can do this and get mystery dust, and you can do this once a day. So remember to keep on doing this if you need a daily mystery dust. But obviously it is always not a 100% chance that it is an option, but it is pretty likely. So uh, let me click on it, and as you can see the reward has been claimed. And they'll transfer it back onto Hypixel, and I will get this 20 mystery dust for free. And as you can see, I've gotten more mystery dust. Now if you actually go back to the delivery man, you can see if you actually have a daily reward token, and they'll present you with one extra chance so that you can get even more loot, so you may have another chance of getting the mystery dust again. But just follow through the first steps that I went through, which is basically really simple, and you can just do that once again. But what can you do with mystery dust? Now you may have a lot of mystery dust and are asking yourself what can you actually do with it? Well there are a lot of things that you can do with it. First of all the main thing that people like doing is actually crafting it into mystery boxes. Now mystery boxes are like the extreme loot that everyone wants when it comes to cosmetics. Now as you can see it has a lot of things like the trampoline gadget, a hero brine pet, Stuff like the jump around gesture, the black pug companion, the hype train gadget, swing gadget, rock paper scissors gadget, all of these cool gadgets and basically all these cosmetics are obtained within crafting mystery boxes. Now as you can see it is very cheap for me since I have MVP, but obviously the lower rank you have the harder it will be to actually obtain these mystery boxes, which makes them so exclusive. So getting one is really expensive, but the number 3 is actually the most expensive, doubling the price, and then number 1 and 2 will actually be the cheapest. So I'd recommend going for them, but obviously number 3 has most of the cool gadgets within it. So obviously pick and choose when it comes to saving it up, but this is the one of the many things that you can do with it. Now when clicking on it, all you have to do is basically choose the one that you want, so you're either going to pick 1, 2, or 3, whichever one that you actually have money for. Whichever one you can actually afford. Now I'm going to choose number 1, and then as you can see it will say you crafted a mystery box number 1. Or whichever number that you actually have. Now you have to go back in here, and if you have more you're going to have to find it. It's normally the last one on the list, and it will tell you that you have crafted it. Now what you're going to want to do is basically click on it and you can click on confirm. Now it'll have a slightly different animation when coming out and it'll actually show you this cool thing and it'll give you this cool legendary prize which is something I already had. Now if you actually have a duplicate legendary you will get 51 mystery dust and this will help you craft another one when it comes to that time when you have stacked enough mystery dust up to get on. Now another thing that you can do with mystery dust that is pretty important that relates to cosmetics is actually buying them outright. Now as you can see if we click on the chest you can go to any cosmetic that you don't have that's not a part of a basically Halloween, holiday, Easter or summer special and unlock it with mystery dust. So this is basically going to be used on suits, emotes, and gestures, and that type of stuff, considering some actually can't be bought, like companions, which are only available in the stores or the special mystery boxes, and most gadgets are locked behind the special mystery boxes, and obviously the holiday items. But if we were to click on suits, we can check out some cool suits that we want to unlock. Let's say the frog suit, as you can see, I can unlock it with mystery dust. Now obviously uh, the head will actually be the most expensive and it will keep on going down throughout the whole set. So obviously you're going to have to save up if you want something like this but you can easily craft it and trade in your mystery dust to finish a set if you would like to. Now another thing that you can actually do with this mystery dust is for housing. If you do not know what housing is, all you have to do is click on the compass and then click on the dark oak door right over here, which is in the top right. Then when you actually click on it, you will see the housing lobby. Now within here you can go to uh, my houses, 
but once you're actually here what you can do is click on the carpenter now within here what you can do is two things either you can go to house settings or the items tab now when clicking on the items tab as you can see it already shows mystery dust but if you were to click on it you can actually buy some of the things that are here now obviously some require the summer mystery boxes or the holiday mystery boxes but some you can actually just flat out buy with mystery dust and obviously some you actually can't but most of the basic stuff requires mystery dust for you to actually buy it but then going back into the main menu what you can do is go to house settings once in house settings what you can do is click on the hoe now once you are here as you can see you can upgrade your plot land now this will substantially go up over time the more and more you actually upgrade it but it will cost mystery dust for you to expand your land as you can see there is currently a border here and it can outreach all the way out to about over here but if i were to grab a block and try to build outside of this border i cannot but obviously i can build inside the border but that will actually expand the border if i were to spend mystery dust on it which is a very important to do if you would like to go on housing and build your own stuff but that is basically the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace out